are at our best when we walk through the doors that have been opened for us. That's when we're at our best. And so I'm gonna challenge you this week to not just leave here and do nothing. I'm gonna challenge you this week to find a way to brighten somebody's day, find a way to have an intangible touch. Maybe it's buying somebody's meal behind you in the drive-thru. Maybe it's bringing somebody's trash in from you know, out on the curb, preferably after it's been empty. That would probably, probably be good. Maybe you just need to smile more, talk to someone, be love in action. This past week, we had a go team out on Saturday handing out carnations, three locations. And I, I asked Bill if I could share this story because it's a great example of the little things that you can do. You see, they were passing out carnations and they were in three different locations up at the Eastgate location in Sweet Fog and down here in Batavia and under the stars, they had ran out of carnations. So they said, we need more carnations. And so he gets down there as they're just hounding out their last carnation. And as they're, you know, as he stands there, he says, he looks and he sees this lady come and, and approaches him. And he holds up, says, free flowers for Mother's Day. And he noticed that the woman gets visually upset, maybe even angry, and to shake her head says, no thanks. And then he says, wouldn't you know it, the light turned red. And so there she is sitting there right by me with the flower. And so he looks at her and smiles and tears begin to fall down her cheeks. And she rolled down her window and explained she had just lost her mother and the flower would only reopen the wound and cause her to grieve. And that's why she didn't want a flower. And Bill said that they weren't there just to hand out flowers. They were actually there to show the love of God. And so he asked her if he could say a quick prayer and she agreed pray that God would continue to show his love to her in a tangible way and draw her close to him. And she thanked him and said, that meant more to me than any flower ever before. Life turned green. A couple quick things about that encounter. There was a lot of opportunities for them to go to the other side of the road. He was up at Sweet Frog. Dude, you don't leave Sweet Frog where you can get yogurt by the pound and to go somewhere else, but he did. She also said no go up and shove the carnation under her windshield and say, well, you're taking it anyway. He smiled and said, well, that's not really why we're here. And then he asked him to pray. Can I pray with you? There was a lot of opportunities for him to go onto the other side of the road, but just a simple act of praying, as she said, meant more to her than some wilted carnation by now. That's a small thing, but that's acting like 